Welcome to another Geek of Classic Reviews. That's a good one. That was good. I liked it. Keep it. Nope. Keep it. <laughs> Welcome to Geek Eclectic Review. Hey, how you doing? Don't continue with it. I'm just well. saying keep that part. <laughs> I want to. Uh, no. <laughs> We're not a morning radio show. Well. <laughs> it's not Zit and the Ringer. <laughs> hey, Zit and the Ringer here. How you guys doing? We're here with a lot of Geek Eclectic Reviews. <laughs> All right, we're encroaching yeah. on too All much right. time That's wasted it. there. All right. <laughs> Welcome to another Geek Eclectic Reviews. I'm Stu. I'm Nick. And we just saw Avengers Age of Ultron. Holy shit. And this is just our immediate Ooh. thoughts. It's going to be fast and loose, Ooh. just like we know you guys Ooh. like it. Like a quickie. Yeah, Ooh. pretty much. <laughs> Nick tried doing an impression Whoa. of Ultron, and he let off with I a. Start. Oh. <laughs> he let off with a Al Pacino. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm Ultron. <laughs> oh, what are you gonna do about it, asshole? <laughs> Make my friends rich and my enemies rich, and see who's to be trusted. Ooh. That's something Tony Stark says. Fuck you! Cut your hand off, bitch! <laughs> Let me buy you a peck of gum. I'll show you to chew it. Ooh. <laughs> so, overall, this is going to be a spoiler-filled review, I'm assuming, uh, since yeah. I'm planning on spoiling the movie for everyone. Yeah. So, if you would like uh, Avengers spoiled, then feel listen. free. Then listen. So I should have already heard, watched yeah. it. But if you haven't, turn the fucking thing off. Turn it off. And come back later. Or don't, but turn it the fuck off. Or how about... You're welcome to come back later. Yeah, please. I'm just saying. <laughs> Boom. Exactly. Wind and cheese. Rotten cheese. So, <laughs> so uh, where do we start? Do you uh, want to start out with like the Avengers themselves? I mean, we, we can start out. I was well, thinking. It's the return of Iron Man. It's the yeah. return of Thor, Captain America, who I thought played a uh, very quieter role. Like he, yeah. Cap was not huge in the thing. Don't be wrong. He was there. He just. I didn't see a lot of sparkle from him. But to be honest, yeah. I'm also not a huge Cap fan. I know. He's a boy he scout. He had some cool shit. I mean, the new, the whole return to the fucking arm button, that was cool. That was awesome. Because <laughs> like, you always had that problem, like, okay, the shield's like stuck God knows where. How the hell am I going to get it back? I'll just press a button and bloop, comes back. Brilliant. Uh, let's see. They got the, uh, they obviously got the staff. Uh, I enjoyed yeah. Robert Downey Jr. as always. Is Tony Stark? Is Iron Man? Oh, was fucking great. He was on point. I wish he was in more of the scenes, but yeah, God, he was good. Oh yeah, he was. Uh, <laughs> every scene he was in, it was he stole the show. Usually, unless uh, unless Hawkeye was uh, really starting it because Haw- Hawkeye yeah. had some good shit. Hawkeye had some good. I was stuff highly impressed on. with Hawkeye. He stole the show. We're we're in a war in zone ways. on a floating piece of land. Fighting robots, and I've got a bow and arrow. Yeah, I'm just a guy. None of this shit makes sense. <laughs> but if you walk out there, you're a fucking Avenger, goddammit. And he inspired uh, the hotter Olsen sister yeah, to go out there and be hot and just kick ass. Yeah, get angry. <laughs> just get angry. Get the fuck angry. <laughs> just everybody. I, I will say this about all the. I mean, all the characters. Each each had like their, their own, own kind thing. of funny, cool moment. I suppose. Oh, they all did. Uh, but you were, I mean, we were talking about this. We felt like like more some characters were more utilized in this, oh, yeah. obviously. So, like, so for example, you had Hawk the Hulk. Hawkeye was back in big time. Hulk was in pretty damn big. And Black and Widow. Bruce Banner was, I, I would love to have a little more Bruce. Yeah. But uh, Natasha, Black Widow, and uh, Hulk and Hawkeye seemed to be like the main showing force this yeah. time. And it was good. I enjoyed the hell out of them. Well, Especially Hawkeye. Hawkeye fucking, I thought, and, and Stu, we talked about this already, but I think stole a good chunk of the show. Oh, yeah. And it was beautiful. The, that, I mean, just those little moments like where uh, they're... Uh, let's fun little asides. What was that one moment? He's... I, they're, they're, they're battling the robots. They're battling all of Ultron's <laughs> robot guys. And all, all the Ultrons. He's <laughs> battling, battling all the Ultrons. And uh, isn't he fighting side by side with the Olsen sister? Yes, the hot Olsen. Yeah. And then uh, Quicksilver just 
runs like runs and, and takes. All right, we're gonna all everyone get together at the yeah. thing. We're gonna and meet up he here. Shows Come up on. and fucking bolts in. Just takes his, just takes the sister, mm-hmm. and he's okay. just just like pulls an arrow out. And he's like, no one would know. Yeah. I don't know what happened to him, guys. I just, Last time I saw him, Ultron was just sitting on his chest. I have no, no idea. Nobody, Nobody would, would know. know. Nobody would know. Son of a bitch. And then he's just bitching as he has to run. He's like, yeah, I get to run back home. This is great. I, this is... I'm fighting with a goddamn bow against robots. Yeah. This is great. Like he had some, like, and, and the the uh, moment where oh, which Scarlet tried Witch to, was trying to oh, tried to fucking mind, mind control fuck him. him. He's like, hey, listen. I've had that shit. Yeah. Turns around, literally about to shoot an arrow at something else. Turns around, it's one of the electric arrows and just plops the fucking thing on her head. Just I've whoop. had the whole mind game shit. Yeah. I'm done with it. I'm not feeling it, honey. <laughs> <laughs> not, not right now. I was very impressed with it. <laughs> <laughs> and there's the guy, the Quicksilver, grabs his sister and fucking books it after throwing him through like a wall. Yeah. And just looking at him, he's like, that's right, you better run, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Kick your ass. <laughs> just, oh, gosh. <laughs> Jeremy Renner's great, this one. Yeah. I don't know, is it his last movie? I don't know. I'm not sure if Hawkeye's coming back. You know, honestly, I don't. And if not, they did one hell of a write out for him. It was fucking great, and I'm more than pleased with it. Well, him. it seems like now they've set him up for to just have settling into his family life. Exactly. So now, uh, oh well, who's your girlfriend? I don't have a girlfriend. Who are you talking to? My girlfriend. <laughs> we're, we're his mystery house. family. We're gonna go to a safe house where I have two children. Yeah, and a third on the way. Yeah. Oh, I, oh, I didn't, I didn't tell you guys about that. Oh yeah. No, oh, I, I think I only told Black how's, Widow. How's my little Natalie? It's actually Nathan. Traitor. Traitor. <laughs> Just bends down to the fucking stomach. <laughs> Traitor. <laughs> Black Widow had some great lines. Oh, yeah, I, I laughed did. my ass well, off. That's, a, lot of, a lot of the characters had, had some great lines in they this did. movie. And I, my thing was, you know, we're... I was just noticing that, like certain, I, I'll touch back on you know characters being utilized, and in this one, it was more so Hawkeye, Black Widow, and the Hulk. And if you notice, these are characters that haven't really had their had a movie per se. I mean, the Hulk, yes, has had a movie, but not as not Mark, Mark Ruffalo. Ruffalo. Yeah. So these are three characters that haven't had their own movie. So this was like kind of like their time to shine, almost. Yeah, I'm hoping that we still uh, get a Black Widow movie. I that would be great. I would love that. I would love to to. I'd love to, to see peer the back shit in that from history. her angle. Yeah, I don't give a shit if it's past or present or future. I don't but, give yeah, a shit. Whatever. I'd love to see it from her angle. Yeah. She well. Not and, to mention it's also you know ninety plus minutes of Scarlett Johansson. So I'm perfectly fine with that. I am fine with that. I saw Lucy. Was it my favorite? Eh, no. But it was Scarlett Johansson. Yeah. For ninety fucking plus minutes. Yeah. I watched it. Paid my fucking eight fifty. It was good. But. Uh, <laughs> Overall, um, let's see. What was what was some of your favorite shit from it? Mm. Like overall, like moments yes. or like bits, moments, whatever. Oh my god! Like my my the funniest for me, one of the funniest moments. I'm curious if yours is the same as mine. Which one? What? I'm curious if yours is the same as mine. Keep going. It probably it might probably be. Is. One of one of my favorite funny moments. There's a lot of funny moments in this movie. One of them has to be Hulk. Piloting a jet, <laughs> that the Hulk, was good. not Bruce Banner, the Hulk. Honey, uh, you, we can't track you in the yeah. stealth jet. Could you just turn around, click, yeah. and just sits down like he's in a fucking yep. like sits and he's down just, like he's. It was the most adorable fucking thing. It's like how every action figure you ever had really yeah. fit in the goddamn ships that you had. for. Oh no, yeah, you put a Hulk in like a fucking like You're GI like, Joe machine. This, <laughs> this thing could carry twelve people on the yeah. show. How the fuck can I only put two people in the it? The Hulk is fucking piloting That's it with Hulk. his two with his thumb or two Pretty thumbs much. just sitting there. And I, and then there's like an outside shot and you see the Hulk like still piloting. <laughs> you think maybe he's going to turn into Bruce. Nope. No. Still the Hulk. Still I turned Hulk to you and I'm like, the Hulk is really flying this jet right now. <laughs> it was great. He doesn't even need this. He could just, he just, he could just, he could jump just fucking out the jump fucking somewhere thing. and then he's in South America or something. No big deal. Ah, fuck this. I'm going to fly a jet as the Hulk. I can do it. I have self control now, I guess. My absolute so. favorite. I, I love that part. My favorite, though, had to be when they brought Vera down. Mm. I'm calling in yeah. Vera and just the fucking set from satellite, from outer space. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's the Hulk busting arm. The Hulk really. buster, man. <laughs> that was a great moment. Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. <laughs> just the, just the just continuous... Wrecking his face. The continuous punches. <laughs> just... Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep, please God. Go to sleep. 
At one point, it looks like Hulk spits a fucking tooth out. It's just it's yeah. a pause in the scene. Dude, that and was... it's just like, oh, God. I'm sorry. I am I'm so, so sorry. sorry. <laughs> and just the fucking action continues. He just pissed him off even more. At one more. point, he's carrying him through the place, trying to, like, just stop him and knock him out of this yeah. shit. That he gets, he gets, you know, Scarlet Witched. And just, he's like, how... Qu- Let's look at it. He's gonna scan overall. It's like, all right, no, no humans yeah. there. Okay, it's it's all clear. Yeah. How quickly can I buy that building? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> fucking yeah. drops the Hulk into it. Just is chasing at him, just fucking wailing on him. Oh, and the end, the end of the scene when Hulk gets pissed again was a fucking uh, just a straight punch from the fucking uh, left side of the screen. Yeah. Just like how it was with Thor. Yeah. <laughs> It was I exactly. loved it. I loved the connections. It was good. <laughs> oh yeah, <It's laughs> one of the greatest moments was actually sitting there going, like, "All right, come on, Ban, come on, Bruce, just need to calm down." Oh shit! He's, he's like, "Oh yeah, don't mention Puny Banner." He just oh, yeah. fucking flips shit and throws at him. <laughs> don't mention Puny Banner. And then oh. one point he gets out. He gets fucking thrown through a building after he's trying to stop him and just contain him. Yeah. He's like, "You just hit me in the back, you." Bitch, Banner. Banner, Banner you dick. Banner, dick you move, Banner. Dick, dick move, Banner. <laughs> <laughs> dick move. Oh, shit. That was, that was good. That was one of my... Uh, as, I, as I said before, each character had kind of had like their own line, which was, which was hilarious. And one of Hulk's... Bruce Banner, I should say. One of his favorite lines was... Um, my favorite lines of his is that he has... He has the uh, Scarlet Witch in a headlock. This is like they bring uh, Captain After America. The mind fucking. Yeah, Captain America brings Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch on board on the, one of the jets and is trying to like introduce them and they get back to Avengers and they, Tower. They, and yeah, everybody sees them and they're like, "What, what the fuck? Why'd you bring them back?" And, and then you know, so Banner's got her in the headlock. Like, and he's no, like, no, I, I dare you, you, gotta, you, gotta, you gotta start with the good part. You just gotta start with uh, Banner sitting there going like, "I could, I could rip your head off without oh, yeah. even changing color here." I'm like, I just lean over, I'm like, fuck yes. Yes. And then he does, as soon as the action kicks off. Go ahead. Piss me off. Fucking Quicksilver unplugs all the shit, and then out of nowhere, Thor and all this shit's happening. Cap and all this stuff going on. Fucking Bruce gets behind her and goes, I dare you, piss me off. I dare you. (laughs) No, piss me off, I dare you. Oh my god. That was one of my favorite ones. That was one of Banner's best lines. Oh my god! I mean, everybody. You know, it was it was kind of funny. It was well well rounded in that aspect. And god, like yes. it was a great like you had like the whole Captain group America comedy, like group, group thing. Yeah, you had Captain America be you know clean up the language in the beginning. Watch and, the language there, Tony. Yeah, everything's Did happening. You really, just fight, say that all the fighting's going on. Everyone's giving like status yeah. updates of what's going on. And he's like, "Am I the only one's going to mention the fact that he just said that?" Really? Yeah. And, no one else is going to mention you guys, that. You guys are not going to let this. This is. You guys this are not going to let gonna, this go. It's not going to get away at any point. You kiss your mother with that mouth. Did you not tell anyone? I mean, seriously. <laughs> like that kind of thing. It was well rounded in in, in the comedy, God it. It. and everybody riffed very well mm-hmm. with each other. I thought um, Scarlet Witch did a hell of a job. I was job. going to say what with that. Now, now let's let's. I guess that could take us into the new characters. And we uh, and specifically, I'm talking about Scarlet Witch, and Scarlet Quicksilver. Witch, Quicksilver, and of course the Magneto. Vision. What? Magneto's kids. Yeah, Magneto's kids. Yeah, and fucking and the Vision. Oh yeah. So let's let's talk about the twins first. All right. What did you think about? Loved them. Uh, they were quite good. Yeah. As soon as they stopped, you know, trying to fuck up the Avengers, yeah. loved them. Even while they were actually just great. Yeah. Just, we got enhanced in the field. What do you look like? Honestly, I still don't know. <laughs> like, so, it, at first, they, they kind of hated Stark because they thought that he he, he ruined their lives pretty much with the rocket that they found. Yeah, he was to blame for pretty much yeah. the death of their parents and stuff. Or at least the parents that they think they had. Yeah, um, yeah Magneto. Yeah, they were pissed off and they really wanted just to take out Stark. Yeah. But in the end, but at what point? Fucking Tony fucking saved what's uh, Scarlet Witch's life at one point. Yeah, and she kind of just looked at him and was like. Really, like yeah. it was. It was like a moment of I could have easily died, and he then saved my life. Yeah, maybe not quite such an asshole. Yeah, maybe. And I think yeah, Quicksilver really of the two of them got the least development. I thought like just like cool moments. Yeah, he was running fast. Yeah, he did some wrecking shit to those fucking to the Ultrons. Yeah, but like Scarlet just 
was throwing shit around. Yeah. I loved, dude, I loved her. When fucking, one of the worst, and here's a big spoiler, when Quicksilver gets fucking shot and all the Ultrons are trying to get to the little device that they have to just kick, just fucking touch and turns on. Oh, she just fucking She fucking rages. just rages and every just fucking bot there Everything around him explodes. Her explodes. Yeah. <laughs> I was like. That was awesome. She did leave her post, but other than that, you know, it was really good. Yeah. <laughs> What'd you think I of thought, it? Well, uh, I will say that I felt like there could have been a little bit more development with them. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Uh, I, I felt... It looks like we're going to get I just some development. Felt, I felt like they were rushed a little bit. You know what I mean? I don't know. Well, they were... I mean, I, they were in the end trailer for... Captain America. No, it was uh, Dark Worlds. Wasn't it Dark Worlds? That no, we it saw was Captain... Winter staff. Soldier. Winter, in Winter Soldier, they are in like little cells, like they're in their cells, like they're trying to break out, or, or like you see Quicksilver like running oh, around. Oh God, in damn, cell. you're right. Yeah, you're right. And she and Scarlet, which is playing Levitating around blocks shit. or some shit or whatever. Yeah, yeah. you're right. It was. <laughs> but like, I I just felt like they were kind of rushed. Like, okay, so they were in cells before or whatever. Like, what? I don't know. I just felt like the explanation you, yeah, is how, how they how came they, to what be. What they were beforehand yeah. versus what they are now. They're just there. Exactly, and yeah, I, I understand that. I feel like it looks like little... we're gonna get some explanation, some development though, from at least one of them. So I'm sure we, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, since probably spoiler two alert, Quicksilver's probably dead two now. Well, I don't. And think is he dead? I don't think he's dead. You don't think he, they had yeah. the same, uh, maybe Connection? the same uh, uh, Korean lady? <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> that was probably my worst <laughs> moment in the movie. Okay. Where I sit there, I lean over, st- I lean over, Stu, and go, yeah. Stu, I don't mean to sound racist. Is that the same Korean lady? Too late. <laughs> That's all he says to me. Too That's late. all he says to me. He's like, too, too late. late. <laughs> and then he leans over and goes, uh, I think it is. I'm not sure. I think it sure, is. Though. I'm not sure. <laughs> it could have been. Because, I mean, she got a fucking shot. Yeah. She got shot in the chest. Dude, she had a big gash. Like, she had a in nice her chest. size yeah. pop in she the fucking nice chest. She had a nice Ultron, Ultron gash. Mm-hmm. Like, that's death. But she had had enough. She got enough out to say, oh, they're taking her. They're taking him away. <laughs> get, get the chamber. Yeah. Like start the reactor quake. Like she, like, <laughs> she's just, <laughs> this ain't over, man. This ain't over, man. <laughs> that would have been a perfect line right there. This ain't over, <gasps> over, man. <laughs> and then dies. That was her last breath. <laughs> no, I'm not sure, but that... I think I think probably he's probably still in for another movie. I wouldn't yeah. be surprised if he's back. Because I mean, let's be honest. One of the things that they made sure to mention in the beginning of the movie when they're talking about the Romanoff twins mm-hmm. was that he's got a hell of a metabolism. To which that means True. you're going to speedily heal. You're going to, in a quick fashion, heal. True. And plus the technology that you saw earlier in the movie where they healed uh, exactly. Hawkeye. That makes me think that probably he's still alive. Yeah. And that's maybe how that Asian doctor... Um, maybe the same one. herself. Or I'm guessing. Know. I'm guessing. No I mean, idea. fuck. She's in her little center of she a clone? I don't know healing shit. Yeah. It's just, it's it's actually Professor Xavier. Yeah. Woke maybe. up from the body. Maybe. Maybe she's a mutant. I would. Or be they, they don't use the word mutant in this universe. I'm enhanced. sorry. It's enhanced. Enhanced. All right. Let's get to the I big question. Know. What'd you think of Vision? Uh, or as I'd like to call it, Paul Bettany. Man, the Vision. Uh, I thought he was awesome. I was I, highly impressed with him. I think I, I think my favorite moment, obviously, is when he, obviously, he, he first comes into his consciousness and he looks in the glass. And he's he just sees, fucking floating yeah, there. He's floating. There's no like black. You don't see any kind of like repulsor technology. Nothing yeah. that's making him fly. He's just floating. He's floating. Gets thro- <laughs> He has one moment of like, holy shit, what the hell's happening? Yeah. Gets thrown and he's almost about to break the Avengers front window. Yeah. And just stops and he's like, oh, look at that, pretty. <laughs> well, he sees his face. He's like, oh, and then, uh, and then all of a sudden, he like in- enhances his, his suit appears on yeah, his body, he makes it, and then his like, cape comes naked. out. No, no, he's like, I'm naked. I'll put something on, and then he Here's fucking turns around, and lands next to Thor. He's talking with Thor at one point. I like your he's, cape. He's like, I like that cape, yeah. and fucking one just fucking happens on him. <laughs> and that's a cool cape. Good idea. Let's have capes. And, and the best <laughs> moment, and this was great because in the theater, everybody was like, oh man. Vision just picks I'm, up Thor's I'm, hammer I'm like not, it's a nothing. I, I value here, here life. You go. I'm not like him. I don't want to destroy him, but he has to be destroyed. So let's get out of here. 
you'll need this, and just hands yeah. him the fucking hammer, which everyone else only everybody in the, the everybody punch. in the theater was like, "Whoa, holy shit!" Because he's worthy. He's worthy. Oh yeah, he's worthy to weld it. It was good. Wield <laughs> or weld, wield, weld. wielding, wielding, weld, whatever. He's able to wield it. He's able to wield. Yeah, he picked the fucking it. thing up. He picked it up. Uh, <laughs> and when everybody tried to pick it up impressed. earlier in the movie, <laughs> very impressed. <laughs> I mean that's that that was awesome. Everyone, everyone was freaking out. It was good. And was Thor's just good. like, Son of a bitch. He's like, yeah, what? let's go. Um, I I did like towards the end of the movie. They're all kind of like talking about. It. They're like, I mean, let's be honest. I mean, it doesn't change how we are overall. Yeah. Just because he was able to lift it. I mean, he's artificial intelligence. Artific- he's... It's, it's, that's different. That's not a person. Yeah, that's not the same thing. You could put it in an deal. elevator, and yeah, it would. <laughs> if you put the if you put the hammer on the elevator, elevator will still go up. It's not worthy. Yeah. <laughs> So I think we're fine. Yeah. <laughs> and then Thor's just like, he can pick the hammer up. He's okay. Oh, He's my good. Gosh. <laughs> it's like, Jesus Christ. I mean, I, I really like the character. I liked how they brought him into being. And, and, oh, and yeah. That Ultron wanted a, wanted a body. Mm-hmm. And then we just threw Jarvis instead. Yeah. Jarvis was continuously stopping the nuclear codes from getting to Ultron uh, yeah. just before he even knew that he was Jarvis again. Okay. I that found was... I found the one that was stopping him from getting the nuke codes. Whooping. <laughs> Twitch, I don't know what the fuck's up with that, but he's just got a phone that he can just flick yeah. and just oh, there's a consciousness in front of us. No big deal. How you doing? Yep. <laughs> I love I love that in the beginning, the two consciousnesses of Ultron and Jarvis. Jarvis. What the fuck? What it looks you... like it's thinking. Holy shit. Like I'm like, just walking <laughs> Bruce Banner's just walking through the consciousness of this thing. And, just and, and Jarvis sitting there going like, I am the most up to date thing. Like it does more work than anyone yeah. but Pepper in the company. He runs yeah. the damn thing. He runs the whole thing. And uh yeah, he he's the greatest piece of artificial intelligence we've really gotten to yet. And Jarvis is like, I'm assuming not for long though. <laughs> just fucking <laughs> you know, here's his competition. Whoa, boom. It looks She's like huge, this neural just patterning. It was huge beautiful. brain almost. Like, oh yeah. Jarvis is just dwarfed by him. <laughs> oh, but yeah, I, we were we were talking about Jarvis. Love so now, him. well, Jarvis was voiced obviously by Paul Bettany, aka and, Jarvis, and now AKA Paul, Paul Bettany, Bettany is is the Vision, aka the guy from Wimbledon. So we so we were saying, <laughs> also the guy from A Knight's Tale who played Jeffrey Chaucer. Yes. So keep going. Exactly. <laughs> so what? So now the I noticed we noticed this later in the movie mm-hmm. that. Instead of talking to Vi- instead of talking to Jarvis. a G- male Jarvis, the the, Jarvis. the he Paul Bettany talk- Jarvis, he was talking. He's talking to, to like a, a a British chick, chick, which I'm assuming is still Jarvis, but now a female consciousness or something. Or? I can't tell. I don't know. I'm not sure. Well, now I, that's probably their excuse now. Is that well now he could he's the vision and he, that's his that's Paul Bettany. I don't know. I'd still he's, accept two paychecks though. But Nick and I were like, well, wonder if the, you just had just. The vision and just Jarvis. Talking That'd be the to best after credit scenes. Yeah. That would be the. I like that would be voice. the shawarma scene. Like I like your voice. You're like I like yours too. Vision's this is weird. Vision's <laughs> okay, but you know what? I think I might go with Jarvis. It's a good name. Like just something like that. Just him talking to himself. I thought it would be great. I want a little bit. More, I want. I'm not gonna lie. I want a little bit more vision. Oh God, yeah. Uh, I thought. I don't know. Maybe maybe we'll see that in a future movie with the vision. Oh God, yeah. I think we're gonna I, see. I think we're gonna see him. In uh, the two next Avenger movies, definitely. Well, I, I, yeah, I, I just, I, it was a nice little introduction for him. I, I would have loved to have seen a little bit more of him. I mean, I know that there was that one part I liked seeing him fight Ultron, and you know he grabbed onto his, he grabbed onto Ultron and locked Basically him. Basically, took him out of the internet. Yeah, man. You don't know the Wi-Fi code, bitch. You can't get exactly. on. <laughs> <laughs> you can't steal my I, Wi-Fi, bitch. Get dude, one of, the, one of the best moments, definitely towards the end of the movie, was uh, fucking Thor, Vision, and Iron Man are just going to town with the beam weapons and elect and you on know Ultron. lightning on Ultron. Oh yeah, Ultron's still kind of standing too. Well, he has the vibranium, He's all, aka adamantium. He's still standing. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> I thought, oh man, the vision part uh, was hilarious to me. I love that. <laughs> just locked him out. I locked you out of the internet. You lost Bring your it, bitch. You were on the internet too long. <laughs> no big deal. Uh, go outside and play. Uh, yeah, James Spader. I'm just going to say that again. Yeah, let's, okay, we're Fucking going to phenomenal. Ultron now. Phenomenal. Awesome. 
phenomenal. And even even though this was a computer generated, you know, Ultron, and it had Spader, every it, inch of feeling yeah. of James Spader. He had Spader. He had Spader. Spader mannerisms. He had Spader isms. Mannerisms and also vocal cues. It was beautifully put together. Oh god, I'm trying to think of some moments. Uh, to some of the things he he would say. I mean, I don't know. Just god, the one part really? where. Uh, one of the parts that was my favorite was just uh, Ultron's like trying to make a getaway, I guess you could say, in one, <laughs> in one of the jets, and then Hulk just fucking just jumps up onto the jet, just y- and you can just and you don't even see any action going on. You're still looking at the back out the black at the back of the plane, and you just hear Ultron. He's just like, oh for God's sake, and, <laughs> and you just you just see his body just get thrown out of the jet by uh, by the Hulk. But uh, he just had so many. Funny things that he that he said throughout the movie, I, I can't remember them right now. But um, <laughs> trust me, they were hilarious. Dude, one of the creepiest moments I even I even fucking nudged you for it was uh, when James Spader, not just the saying the you know there are no strings on me, yeah. and you had the James Spader creepily singing yeah. that there are no strings. There are no strings on me. And then you hear the Pinocchio. And the oh, no, fucking shit. That was creepy. I, I, I was like, that's not wildly creepy or anything. Yeah. I mean, there were moments where he looked really fucking creepy with the red eyes and just like, especially oh, yeah. when he confronted the uh, Asian doctor. Yep. That we thought died. Maybe. Or who knows? <laughs> or, <laughs> what is her story? <laughs> I don't know. I don't what know. is her story? All I know is that the I, I loved when the Roman house walk in and can't read my mind and you're disturbed by it. Hmm. Well... I, I can read everyone's. Yeah. Not mine, bitch. And just stands up. And he's yeah. just Holy fucking, shit. Oh, maybe You're not, not a man. Maybe not you. Yeah, not you. Okay, maybe not you. I like, I, and I like, what did you think about the Ultron design overall? I was very impressed with it. Huge. He was looking very imposing. Dude was big. <laughs> I mean, we knew that he was going to have an army, obviously, that was at the end. Did you kind of feel like, I don't know. I felt like it was kind of like the first one in that, okay, the first one, the Chitari attack. Mm-hmm. There's a huge, another a one army attack, and they had to go against this huge army. I basically got the second vibe out of the second one. Well, it oh, was facing all, another huge army again. And, it wasn't that really a huge army. It was yeah. just, uh, you know, they had all of the, God, I forgot what he called it. I forgot what Tony called well, it. His Iron Man creations that he yeah, used his, to protect. His, yeah, uh, his little mobile units. Yeah. And it's basically all of them. So, I mean... Oh, yeah. How fucking many he has, they're all out. You figured there would have been a lot more. They're all in the field. And not to mention, the ones at the uh, facility that they were making were there. Mm -mm, And good. Well, I wonder if there are going to be any more... Are there any more Ultron creations around? Well, clearly, the Vision was like, you're at the end, he's like, you're You're the the last last one. one. Is he really the last one, though? Oh, yeah. Okay, I was wondering about that. Oh, yeah. No. Oh, it would be nice to keep, yeah. have Ultron still around, maybe team up with uh, with Thanos. But I guess Thanos really doesn't need the help. <laughs> Thanos is pretty... He's good. He'll beat ass. He's fucking powerful. He's good. He can't die, more or less. Yeah. I mean, Once he gets all those stones. Pretty much. <laughs> well, I mean, he can't... I mean, he's pretty much invincible. Correctly, but... If I remember correctly, he can't die. Like that, He's been courting death. Like, he can't die. Which oh. is that on its own is a little fucking creepy. A little fucked. Just a bit. Hey, so, uh, Death, how you doing? Pretty much just chilling oh. here, bitch. Yeah, Ultron was badass as far as villains go. Um, what else, man? Um, obviously, the the ending scene, we stuck around and you see Thanos reaching for the oh, Infinity, Infinity Gauntlet. Gauntlet. He's like, do it myself. He's like, oh, no, shit. no. That's not good. <laughs> That's not good at all. No, wasn't and I remember in the first Thor movie, wasn't the Infinity Gauntlet? You could see it like in the background, like in the vault. Don't, don't you remember that? I'm not sure to be honest. It's I been a while since I saw it. You could see the the gauntlet, kind of. Maybe I'm wrong, but I want to know how he. Fuck yep, it. Friday is another AI that Tony made. Okay. So Friday is taking Jarvis's place. I don't know if he's That's taking the female his place, British but it's voice just, that we heard. I don't know if he's taking his place, but it's it was in the comics as his. Um, he didn't find a reason to ma- get another secretary, so he made an AI to be his secretary. Okay. So I'm guessing that overall she's not quite Jarvis. I mean, let's be honest. Yeah. 
a the temporary kind of, Jarvis. The kind of shit that like he was pulling off there of, let me calculate, like she was taking a lot longer than Jarvis would have taken doing yeah. some shit. Just because like, Jarvis, how can I do uh, You're running a little low on power. Like yeah. Jarvis would be like, so you're at 10% and yeah. you need at least this much to Just it. to the point instead and, of. Right to the point, and he'd gave quick number estimates on shit. She was sitting there like, let me run some numbers. And it was just that, yeah. like, let me run the numbers. I'll, I'll <laughs> see you in a second. Like, <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, I was wondering about that. Guys, we need to talk. <laughs> Good talk. No, it wasn't. Good talk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so I, uh, one thing I want to ask you, Nick, was what do you think about the new Avengers team? Um, Which consists of... The new one consists of Falcon. Falcon? War Machine. War Machine. Vision. Well, yeah, Vision. And... uh, Captain America. Captain America. Black Widow. Black Widow. Um, You want to just finish it for me? (laughs) Sure, I will. (laughs) Scarlet Witch. (laughs) Scarlet Witch. There Uh, you go. You finish it. Which, I'm not sure if Quicksilver's going to be part of it or not. If he's alive, I think he will be. He'll be back. Yeah. Uh, Remember, kids. No Tony. Nobody's truly dead in the comics. No Tony anymore. Tony's just taking taking a break. Tony's taking hiatus till the next yeah. Avengers movie. Pretty much. Slash till the next Captain America movie. Sure. I think it's going to be just until... Is he just going to be I in the Captain Cap- America movie? I think the next Captain America movie is his last... One of his last three. I thought he was going to be in the last... Oh, well, he's going to be movie. in the last Avengers. Yeah. But I think Captain's... The next Captain America movie is coming out, I think, before it. Yeah. I think Civil War is coming out before the uh, Infinity Gauntlet. Listen, Robert. You just... Gotta come back for all. Oh, of he wants to. Come he's, back already, for, he's already openly said he would love to come back and do it, but the money he's got to do. The money's got to be right. Probably. Was, they gave some bullshit about. Well, at fucking least, Marvel at least, thing. at least, make sure the money's right for everybody. Because I know he exactly. liked. He wanted everyone to get paid. That was the thing. He's he was the one guy that was sitting there going like, the fact that I'm getting this much money and they're not is yeah. kind of bullshit. Kind of bullshit. So how about we fix that fucking thing? Yeah. I think that was actually one of his signing fucking... Like, he was like, I won't do the fucking movie unless you give people real money. Disney rakes how much fucking money Yeah, they did just movies. buy Star Wars for $4 billion. Yeah. All of Lucasfilms for $4 billion. Yeah. They have money to throw it's away. fucking it. chump change. <laughs> They're making a Tomorrowland movie, for Christ's sake. Yeah. Is anyone going to see Tomorrowland? It's George Clooney. I'll I mean, it'll, it'll be it pretty decent. I don't know if I'll see it in the theaters, but yeah. I'll see it. I'm with you. But, um... I don't know. Overall, I was very impressed. I was very... I, I liked it. You liked it better than the first one. I, I'm i still yeah. on the fence. Yeah. I think they're both... I think they're great together. They both have their moments. They I do. Well, that. they really do. But I'm still edging towards the first one just because of... I mean, you had Loki. You had Tom Hiddleston. Yeah. In it. And Tom Hiddleston fucking makes everything seem better somehow. Yeah. And you had him also being... Bashed in the ground like a fucking rag doll by Hulk at one point. I mean, yeah. beauty god. I mean, you had that moment that you didn't have yeah. in this one. Although them being around the little like altar was great. Yeah. <laughs> well, that the idea of of just seeing it seeing it through all together, being mm-hmm. being a team, and that's that's what they had to do in the first movie. They had to come together as a team where they were all just kind of fighting and bickering and. Oh yeah, you know, and and in this one they were bickering and fighting only because that they were, they, their minds were being fucked with. A lot of it, yeah. And well, there was a point when <laughs> Thor picks him up by the throat and's like, "You did this, yeah. Human shouldn't. Oh yeah, yeah, I get there it. Was, Humans shouldn't be messing with this kind of shit. There you know what? The, <laughs> we kind of fucking need it. How's that sound? <laughs> there was that, uh, <laughs> but it's, I don't know. I think that uh, that um, the lullaby. Oh God, the lullaby! Hey, hey, you, you and Natasha, you, you and Natasha aren't fucking playing hide the zucchini, are you? Get the hell over here! Oh gosh, yeah. Well, she want to hook up with the Hulk. That'd be fine. Or I'm probably fine with it. Or did she want to hook up with Bruce? I'm thinking Why both. both. Why both? I mean, one would she wanted to play hide her. the zucchini. One would destroy her. I don't give a shit what kind of porn you've ever seen. She would get that fucking would get destroyed. 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 <laughs> that ain't working. It's Ru- not, it's I did not love, gonna I work. I did love the whole like I think they, had, said, they had a moment in at uh, uh, Hawkeye's house with his kids and yeah. their up and coming third child. Uh, who, to which I recognized the wife. I couldn't remember who the fuck she was though, or what yeah. she's from. 
But she was good. I liked her a lot. Yeah. I did. I loved the relationship that Hawkeye and her had. Yeah. It was. I. Uh, I love the fact you're that, thinking well, that they don't need me. No, I'm thinking they do, and that scares the hell out of me, actually. Oof. Uh, so. Well, part of me loved the fact that you know they they truly didn't know that much about each other. Like they didn't even know Hawkeye had a family or had well, a except wife for and kids. Well, except for her, yeah. Yeah, she knew everything. But not not, not everyone knew each. You know, the, everyone's kind of history. Yeah. And, you know, Natasha revealed to, you know, Bruce about her past and how she can't have a kid. Exactly. That was going to be the guy that can have a family. Me neither. Sterile. What's up? Uh. So, I mean, everybody kind of like had a little bit of history. Mm. You already know some people's history. Obviously, Captain America, he revealed, you know, he said how, you know, I came out a different person when I I, uh, was on thought, when I was thought out. Yeah. So... I mean, you know, with some people, you don't, you know, they didn't really need to reveal much because you kind of already knew. Oh, God, uh, yeah. I really, I, I loved it, though. I was, I, overall, big fan. What are your thoughts overall? Like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm saying this is probably closing out the episode-ish. Yeah, yeah. Overall, thoughts. I mean, I thought it was a spectacular movie. Uh, the, uh, the action, on point, of, of course. Uh, probably one of the best action uh, superhero movies I've seen in a while. Um, I, I think one of the greatest moments that they had actually for it too yeah. was the first was like the first action scene that they had where they're fucking just driving Raining through the, yeah. and they all have that moment where the fucking truck's about to flip over and Black Widow jumps out. Fucking yeah. Hawkeye's jumping out aiming a bow. Hulk is raging yeah. through the fucking area. Captain America Captain takes America's a going motorcycle and just throws it at and, like a fucking it car. It has it all that leading like I'm sure yeah. there's a poster of it. Where they're all kind of like jumping forward in the same direction this way. Oh toward, yeah, and it was just that I was just like, screamed. That's a like, fucking great shot. Yeah, that's a cool shot. That was like it almost felt like a comic book panel. Almost. Oh yes, yeah. it really it looked like one. Yeah, I mean, I, um, oh, gosh, I just love the little moments too, like where like Thor would hit his hammer on like Captain America's shield and yes. it would just cause this fucking the combo vibration moves. just knocking everyone out around. <laughs> they're in a straight just, line. They're, yeah. they're excited. Yeah. Whoa. Like little <laughs> things like that. destroys the tank and throws everyone else to their side. Like little things like that. Just like, like the, the, just the team effort kind of thing, you yes. know, that's what I, I kind of loved. And I mean, overall it, it, it really balanced action and humor uh, together very well. I mean, there's obviously there's a moment where you were just like, oh shit, you know, like when Quicksilver gets shot and killed. A little bit. Uh, who saves, ultimately he saves. Didn't uh, see that's Hawkeye. coming, did you? Didn't see that coming shit. Oh, that's it. So it's, is it just me or is it I'll a little odd that they were Russian and not Polish? What's, what is his... I'm oh, pretty yeah. sure Magneto's Polish. Yeah. Like he was in the, you know... Concentration Concentration camp. camps. Yeah. That's kind of, yeah. I don't know. Not one hundred percent sure, but I'm really doubting Russian. I would well, go more towards British, maybe. Remember, they had to make them somewhat different because I know, Fox. I don't give and, a shit. You know what? It's Fuck just Fox. In a perfect world, let's just fucking have. Why can't everyone just coexist? X Men, Avengers. Oh my god! Do you know how huge that would be, Nick? I. I mean, to be, be Spider Man coming to the Avenger, the the MCU. That's huge. Oh yes. Seen Spidey. That's awesome. <laughs> and if imagine if you saw like the like X Men versus Avengers or something like I that. I would fucking like, love holy it. Holy shit. I amazing. would I would be hugely into yeah. it. Not kind of. Yeah. Huge. Well that's we're getting into it. <laughs> another spectrum here. But the, the, the whole the, the movie as a whole was awesome. Uh part of me, as I as I told you, probably I almost, I kind of like it better than the first. But it, you know, each movie has its moments. So they're both great. Don't get me wrong. What would you rate it? Oh, God. Uh, I would give it 10 Hulkbuster fists to Hulk's face out of 10. It was really good. Go to, go to sleep. 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 <laughs> 10 go to sleep. How about that? <laughs> I, I, I would, uh, I'm going to give it a... Uh... <laughs> He's thinking. I now have to give like a fucking thing that I'm going off of. I was just gonna give like out of a ten, but hey, no big deal. Uh, I'm gonna give it a, a, a eleven out of ten. That's good. I was I enjoyed the hell out of it. I enjoyed it as well. Uh, I, overall, great villain. 
uh, great character. I would there, there could have been a, there could have been. I mean, it, I, I know I'm giving it a ten out of ten, but uh, it could have been a little bit more development on certain characters. Could have been more folk. It's hard to fit that much in though. Well, you've got two hours, and it's like Jesus. But I don't know. Overall, not bad. Um, very curious to see where they're going to go from here with the new team. Uh, very curious about that. And what's going to happen in uh, um, Captain America Civil War? I'm excited for that. Um, I, I was, only, I, you know, I was yeah. kind of hoping for a like, you know, a peak of like an interaction between Tony and 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 Cap. Cap. I was hoping that they were going to show us kind of maybe a little like bit of tension, tension. Or, yeah. yeah. But there, we didn't get that. Which, or unless you, unless you, felt no, no, like, I didn't. I was hoping for it though. I was hoping. I thought there I, would be. I have to say though, like I, I felt like the. Uh, Overall, villain James Spader, who's phenomenal, yeah. a phenomenal actor. Uh, it wasn't quite three dimensional enough for me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, 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 what was wrong about it, or what did you? Well, like? just because you didn't. I mean, you had great Spader esque moments, but you never got the full fucking picture of exactly what he wanted. Yes, he wants to destroy Earth, blah blah yeah. blah, blah blah. He wants that to have people evolve. Motivation. But then, like, they had that moment with Vision when he was literally sitting there talking to fucking Vision. And you're like, I would love five more minutes of that. It would round his character out all the way. I would love five fucking minutes of him talking to him and just getting all that shit out. Yeah. And then Vision destroys him. Well, well yeah. He, well, you, you'd wish that he would had an earlier conversation with Vision. And then yes. the conversation could have rounded out at the end. Exactly. Finished. That was That's and really my only complaint. So now just 10 out of 10. That's my only bitch. I was like, as much as I would love James Spader, I, I wish there was more. It's not 11, it's 10 now. It's not 10. It's, it's perfect not now. It's <laughs> just, just a perfect, no big deal. Well, you know, I, it wasn't a perfect movie by far, but it was, I mean, it was, as far as comic books go, I was happy. Right, I was Jesus fucking Christ. happy. Keep it going now. I was fucking happy. I was really pleased with it. Yeah. I enjoyed it. It's going to be a movie you want to see at least once more. You are definitely going to be pleased. You're going to want to own it. So. Yes. Definitely go see it. We saw it. Fucking awesome. Yes, indeed. In, in I'm pretty sure the other the other theaters just getting out with 3D right now. So. Probably, yeah. It right, as we speak, it's 3 a.m. 3 a.m. Uh, uh, <laughs> this will we're probably be going. up in the next week. Yeah. Uh, but, I'm gonna try to get it out tomorrow. <laughs> that'd be good. Fuck all the frills. Just yep. geek collector reviews. Put Fuck a picture it. of us in marble, preferably. I'll give it a shot. Boom. I'll uh, give it a shot. Go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> go to sleep, go to sleep. Uh, uh, that does it for me. I really enjoyed yeah. it. Stu really enjoyed it. Uh, this has been another episode of Geek Collective Reviews, yeah. Age of Ultron edition. And uh, we'll catch you guys next time. Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. Bye-bye. <laughs>